Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Order. Uh, I think this is what? Three or four? Three. Three. Future me, check that. Uh, edit that in. <laughs> By edit I mean put it in a text box. Anyway. Yeah, we're, uh, we're here. There's still some stuff we didn't finish from the last one. Mainly uh, taming another rider, uh, rideable creature and or a trend on or some form of flyer. Because there's stuff I would like to explore and do. But I think what I'm actually going to do first, before I worry about that, as I'm still, what, one level off, is I'm going to head back to the cave where I found the crystal in the last one, and we're going to take a look and see what we can find in there. It might actually be an ideal place to set up a more permanent place. I'm actually really getting some utility out of that, out of that, out of that, uh... I guess you could just call it a long jump, but... Yeah, I see lots of galleys down there, so I could totally go for one of those if I wanted to. Uh, really need to repair... Oh! Okay, there's supposed to be water there. I didn't know that. Okay. Well. Is it bad that the fact that I don't see anything in here is what worries me more? <laughs> to the top of his head. Okay. Whoop. I, I saw movement down there for a second. I could definitely set something up, like, right around here, right in this spot right here. Set up a nice little, little alcove. Hmm. A lot of options, a lot of options. It's just something I've been thinking about since the, since the last episode. It's like, I could probably set something up here. Live inside this cave. I wonder if this cave is the reason why I haven't been, uh... Oh, properly loading in the trees. <laughs> okay, the fact that I'm not seeing any creatures in here is not a good sign to me. I see metal. What is that down there? Oil or obsidian, perhaps? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'll just say this at the first sign of trouble. I'm probably going to bail. Let's get out of here. I thought this would just be a nice place to come look. And it really is. It really is lovely in here. I'm not quite sure where all that light is coming from. Yes, there'd be some reflection on the wall, but not like what we're seeing here. I see two passages up there. And I don't think I'm going to go down those. I think I'm just going to investigate around here. Oh. The, the light, the weird lighting in here is definitely causing a small issue. I'm sorry, I'm kind of jiggling around all over the place. I am a little overly cautious about things coming to eat me. I don't want to lose this, lose my gear and my team right now. That would suck. Okay. Oop. Ow. 
So what is this? I think that is an oil node. It's either oil or obsidian, but it's got kind of that oily texture. But again, I can't be 100% sure. Now this could also be just the simple fact that nothing has spawned in this cave either, but I'm incredibly wary of bats. Yeah, this is just one small entrance right here. There's another one over here. This does beg the question, like, what is it? What lives in here? back in. But yeah, I think we could definitely do some good work in here. I don't know. I'm probably going to edit some of this footage down too. Oh man, this is just a lot of me running around. This is a pretty cave though. See, I am going to actually investigate those two other passages that I saw just in case. I'm a little worried that I'm going to get get jumped by something, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. God darn it. Wait, are those even passages? No. I can set something up right around here. Or a little bit further towards the... Yeah, I think a little bit further towards it. Yeah, here's good. Now stop and gain back some stamina real quick. Crystals already kind of respawn. Actually, I don't think I harvested that node yet, but... but yeah, I could definitely set up like a nice little base, little K base in there. Alright, so that Brachiosaur absolutely should have broken its leg, but it didn't. <laughs> See that right there? Oh. Hmm. I have to worry about the Bracky possibly getting in the way, but I think that's all right. I do want to show this off if I can, because it is going to be, this actually would be the most high level creature I've gotten yet. Yeah, we're gonna try and tame this Dilo. I think this one is rideable.
Man. Okay. And you can see right there, actually. It's a different, the difference in size. It's a much smaller one right there. Okay, yeah, we don't want to pick a fight with that. seriously miss. Ugh. Where? Oh, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid it that happening. If it uh if it falls unconscious in the water, it will start drowning. Oh wow. Now that was absolutely me being a bad shot, but those other three should have hit him. There we go. Ah, oh, dang. Give me back my arrows. I think three pieces of prime is going to be enough, but just in case, never mind. <laughs> what should I call this one? How about... Yep, that'll do. I'm pretty sure this one's rideable. Yep, equip saddle to ride. Wait, why am I... I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Eh, stats are very meh, but it is a die low. Even though it is significantly stronger than the other ones, than the normal one. It'll do the job well. I do want to compare it to this and the galley, just to see which I prefer, because I've never properly used the uh, writable dialo that comes as the result, again, of, uh, it's, it's, I think it's Kraken's Better Dinos, actually. Um... Okay, what about you? Plus 15, okay. 
Wild male with a plus one. Okay, again, I think that's e that's Kraken's better dinos giving it a pack boat a pack boat. Oh my god, a pack buff. So where's the pack member? <laughs> what? What's going on here? This guy's just running in circles. Where, where's the one giving him the buff? Or am I mistaking how that works? Oh, what if it's in the rock? Maybe it's in the rock. It glitched in there. Yeah. That's certainly possible. All right, let's see if my house is going. Actually, where am I going? Well, I'm headed the right way. Okay. Nope. Get away from me. You shall not have my valuables. Okay, that one's a potential candidate to be my rider, although I prefer a slightly higher level than that. Thankfully, from what I've seen so far, levels are pretty easy. High-level creatures are very easy to come by on this map, which is a very good thing. Whoa. A little bit of a lag spike there. Oh. Uh-oh. Man's running. What, what you doing there, buddy? I'm doing this right now with the soul balls. Uh, it's a little, a little sus, but I, I, I'm doing it because I'm protecting my creatures. So that way, if I die, or well, if they die, oh boy, man, really fumbling that one. Um, if I should die, nothing will happen to them. Okay, alrighty, that's some extra metal. Already it starts out with a significantly more health than your average Dilo. A respectable 2200. Mm -hmm. It can jump, it just can't fly. Okay, what is it? Does control do anything? Yes. So that's like a, a, a roar kind of thing, like a, a display of some sort. All right, kind of derpy, but, oh. What does right click do? The spit, all right. Left click is the bite. Oh, um, another thing is that these guys in this mod are now sexually dimorphic. Only the male has frill, has the frill. Although, again, in real life, uh, Dilophosaurus would not have needed or had a frill at all. Any function, the frill would provide it. 
would have been uh, would have been taken care of by its uh, its crest on its head. Now, as for venom, most likely not, and it certainly wouldn't have spat it if it was. But um, as far as as you can see the, from the size of it, this is actually c much closer to an accurately sized Dilo, and this one is about double the size of a normal one in the base game. So. And yeah, Dilo, I don't know if they could jump like that, but, you know, Dilo uh, in the, I think it was early Jurassic, was uh, the a was one of the Apex Predators. It was, this, this thing was a big boy. I do like it, it's decently quick. Um, it's got good stamina. Let's see how much damage it does. Ooh! I like that, and I like the attacks. Okay. Consider me pleased. Now, in this game, one of the things that its uh, Venom Spit does is it actually just slows down the victim. And, uh, it, well, it does do poison damage, but very little. It's, it's mainly there to inflict a slow effect on them. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to hit that guy with it. That would be a bad time for me. Is this a castle beer? What is this? Oh, oh boy. Wow. This scorpion has a lot of health. Well, no wonder it's max level. One thing I do like is that this guy has way better weight than the, uh... Okay, we'll take that up to three, I think. Yep, that sounds... that looks good. All right, you, you get you get stunned out of the the attack animation for that. Ah, I've just leveled up. Okay, so it's time to get this. Do I have enough chitin to acquire it though? Should. And that's going to open up a whole bunch of possibilities, and I am looking forward to it. That said, I'm I'm really happy with the with the rideable Dilo. It's actually a pretty good dinosaur, uh, especially given the amount of uh, equipment needed to knock one out. It's very very cost effective. It's nice to see some of these dinos actually get some love, like properly. Dilophosaurus deserves a whole lot better than it gets in this game. It's actually one of my favorite carnivorous dinosaurs in real life. It's just... And it absolutely gets the shaft in this game. It's one of the basic... Absolutely most basic dinos around. Oh, how have I got myself into this one? Okay. Oh, crap. Um, well, I'm getting out of here. I'm taking some fall damage. I'm taking some fall damage. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Oh, man, that was scary. That's where all those Rexes keep coming from, up the, up the hill up there. Good grief. Oh.
Yeah, very impressive uh, dinosaur. Again, for the cost, like I could get something much better if I wanted to, but you know, I paid. I did what? Five, six arrows. I, I'll count that and mark that with a little asterisk over that later. Um, oop. Yeah, that little mark next to the next to my HP bar, uh, or not my, my HP bar, my hot bar, my item hot bar, is a little indicator of. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that makes me sad. A 145 Paleo Arc Raptor. Cool. Um. What was I gonna say? It may, in any event, it makes me very happy to see this creature get some proper love. Um. Okay, that's level 15. We don't care. Okay, I can literally take all of that out of its inventory. Now, I can't... I don't think I can use anything mounted on its back. I'll have to try that. But, yeah. Okay, finishing my thought. Um, it's nice to see it get some love. It really is. It's like, about dang time. Please and thank you. We, we, I love the Dilo. It's... Sir. Sir! Get your tail out of my house. Thank you. That's a, that's a very weird sentence the more I think about it. Also, you gotta love how I full-size canoe is stuffed into this box somehow. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna question it. I'm just gonna smile and nod on that one. See, I kinda wish when you lay on the bed it would speed up time if you're in single player. Oh, well, I just set my bed on fire. All right. Uh, uh-oh. Uh. What? Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be taming a galley now. I'm really happy with that Dilophosaurus. That's 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 a fun one. But I think for sure, what we're going to be doing is um, is getting a Tyranid on. I'm going to go ahead and restock my arrows a little bit. We're just going to make extra twenty. Uh, we're going to put my crossbow in here. Never, it always sucks when you go for the crossbow and you end up accidentally breaking it mid mid attempt to tame or kill something. That's always the worst feeling. Okay. Grab my mutton. Also, I apologize if. Uh, Y'all can hear the fan in the background there. It is really hot today. I was just uh, having to deal with that, so making do with what I got. All right, let's see if there's just happens to be something, a pteranodon that I want just chilling right outside my house. Because there was earlier. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put my, my tames in the box. All right, I'm going to put them in this box.
All right, I think I'll bring us back when it's morning so I can actually see what I'm doing this time. Oh. Yep, all right, future me is going to put in an edit right about here. I'll just bring it back in morning, unless something happens, in which case I will, uh, I will keep that footage present. Man, why do I gotta walk all the way over here to find a darn pteranodon? That's... That's a little ridiculous, I'm just saying. You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, man down. Uh, pardon me? Bruh, you, you are extremely rude right now. Okay, alright, yeah, cool, just, alright. Man, nobody on, this, nobody on this island has any social skills at all. It's, it's pretty disgraceful. We need to come in here with some order. Okay, you're, you're trash. So let's check its stats real quick. Okay, weight's not terrible. <clears throat> yeah, I just we're just gonna wait to get this guy properly tamed up and then I think we'll take him for a ride. Yep, there we go. Nice and easy. Yeah, we're going to call it just a play on words of its name. Okay, let me put my let me put a saddle on you. Hmm. Okay, weight's not bad. Health is pretty good. Stamina is pretty trash, as is the case with the train on most of the time. It's nice to have a proper flyer, though. Alright. 
I was going to take it for a ride on camera, but I think that's going to have to wait until the next video because I am really, I'm really tired. I need to take a break and I need to do some editing. Okay. All right. Again with the Rexes. No place is safe. Ah. All right. That's going to be where we call it. I will see you guys later.